Hello, this is Smoke and Joe Gamer. Coming at you with some Street Fighter 6. I just got it yesterday. I've been practicing a little bit. I'm just going to play some single player just so you can check it out. So. Let's see here. Today is Saturday, June 3rd. It is 7.17 p.m. Eastern Time. So I'm going to play for about the next two hours or so. I got I got stuff to do tomorrow, so I don't want to be up too late. So, here you go. I'm just going to play arcade, and look at this. I got my nifty six-button Genesis controller, and it works on Steam. I got a good deal on this on Kingwin.net, and I even got the pre-order bonus with the extra colors and stuff. Which was nice. Of course, now I just gotta make sure I hit the right buttons on the controller. Alright, actually, before I do that, um. Hang on, let me go back. So you can't see it, but I have a performance overlay from NVIDIA that I figured out how to turn on. Um, so, real quick, just gonna jump in here so you can see. Um. Yeah, so I, I'm running it at 1440p, which is perfectly fine with the uh, 4070 graphics card. And you can see, um, for some reason, there's no option to do full screen, just windowed or borderless windowed, which I guess is fine. Uh, but, I mean, it's all on the highest graphics settings, and I turned on input delay reduction. So, yeah, the card seems to be handling it just fine. I mean, it caps it at 60 during fights anyways and actually I could run it in 4k but um, I just got to find a way to show the Nvidia overlay in game if possible but or on the stream but yeah I'll, I'll give you some readings all right so I'm gonna play as Ken because why not Ken's my main man yeah so it's an interesting character roster. I hate E Honda and Blanca and Dalsum, but you got Guile, you got Ken, Chun Li, Ryu. You know, you got all the people you'd, you'd hope for. But plus, you got Jury, you got Cammy, and I haven't tried out the new characters too much yet, but they're all interesting in their own ways. So. So I don't have any alternate costumes, but I did get this extra color for him, which I think looks cool. And I use the classic control type. So. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Oh, that's neat. Right, so I'm just going to do normal difficulty, because I'm actually not very good at fighting games. But I've been playing Street Fighter my whole life, and you'd think I'd be good at it by now. I'm not. He kind of looks like Dante. I, I think that's by design. Okay. So I may check the chat periodically, um, but people don't tend to chat anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I may check the chat periodically. Um, All right, cool. So here we go. Let me just see how this looks. Yeah, okay. Okay. So. Normal difficulty. Major Foundation suspected providing an unlawful aid in developing nation. What the fuck does that mean? Ken Masters detained. What? Former national martial arts champion turns terror. What? What the fuck? What? He got cancelled!
Yeah. So it it's meant to just run at 60 FPS anyways. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm still trying to get the hang of the gauge system. I've never been, like, good at parrying. Anyone who watches my streams knows I complain about it constantly. But it's still a neat feature to have. But you can see that your drive gauge is where your EX moves are coming out of now. So, and now every character has three different... Um, well, she's not going to block. I'm just going to keep doing it. Okay. Yeah. So. Alright. No, I like it because it's fast. And it seems like the combo timing is a little less strict than 5 was. So that's what I like so far. So this is running on the RTX 4070. And like I said, it caps it at 60 during fights. But it gets up to 120 during menus and stuff. Um, so, I'm looking at only about 12% um, CPU utilization and only about 40% GPU utilization. And right now it's only hitting about 53 degrees and only using about 75 watts of power. So this is a really good graphics card in my opinion. Nice! Yo, I did the drive and stunned him and then did a super combo. That's pretty cool. Alright. So this is normal difficulty, but honestly, the game's not that hard. And like I was saying, I'm using the classic control scheme, not the modern setting. So I think the modern setting is designed more for a four-button controller and also people who um, aren't very good at the game. The only thing is, in the World Tour mode, it seems like they really want you to use that modern control scheme, and they really then they just assume you're using like an Xbox or PlayStation controller. So it's not very friendly to like control sticks or six button controllers in terms of turning the camera and stuff. Um, but in just regular arcade or versus mode, it's fine. So yeah, there we go. Okay. And then that's... A, yeah, so every character has three super combos now, which I think is going to be hard to memorize, but it's fine. Oh. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, so the other thing that's cool is that uh, many of the V skills and V triggers from 5 are still in here. Like, the V skills have become special moves for some characters, and some of the V triggers are now super combos. So, oh, that's cool. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And then, so he's got some pretty easy combos, which is good, you know. Oh. They didn't cover that in the tutorial. Then here's your drive parry, yep. Oh. Oh, that's really cool, okay. Yeah, see, when I actually try to do, like, combos and stuff, that I start getting my ass kicked. Nice. 
nice. All right. So maybe on my next stream I'll figure out how to actually like get in a performance overlay that you can actually see. But um, honestly, like I went with the Steam version because I wanted to play it on Steam Deck and also because of the new graphics card that I got a few months ago. Like this is great. Or it, it was one month ago thereabouts. Wow. Okay. All right. I get now. I can destroy a fucking truck. Nice. Okay, that was fun. All right. Well, I like that this actually launches with an arcade mode. Plus, you've got the uh, World Tour mode. So, I mean, Street Fighter V didn't have that many characters to start with, and they only just had those really short... Um, story sequences where you do a couple of really easy fights. I love this controller. So you can see that Guile's V skill from 5 is now just a regular move. So Guile finally has three special moves. Only took, you know, 30 fucking years. And Ken also has a new move where he jumps forward like that, which is good. blocked it. Fuck you. That's why I was trying to do the uh, drive impact to stun him, but he kept blocking it. Alright. Oh. Yeah, so if they're in the corner and they try to block the, that move, then it throws them in against the wall, which is good. Alright, cool. So the only thing is that I keep accidentally doing that new kick move when I'm trying to um, do the super combo. Okay. So who's this new person that I'm going to... Who's JP? What a weirdo. There's no Bison, no Seth, no Gil. Instead, we got this Bozo. Oh, 
Yeah, sometimes it throws them back, which is kind of annoying. But then a throw can stop the the drive. Okay. Oh. Jeez. Gotcha. Alright, hang on. I just want to look at this again. Yeah, okay. Can be used after blocking an attack to... Oh, okay. So if I block first... If I block or parry, then I can revert... Okay. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, crap. Not every character has a parry, which I, I think is good, right? It's balanced and all that. Dove. Ah, uh, he's gonna block it. God damn it. Yeah. So when your health gets really low, your level 3 will actually change or do more damage or something. Okay. That's why it switches to critical art. He didn't counter it. That's good. Cool. So there's Ken's story. Now what? Oh no. He's gonna become violent, Ken, isn't he? Ah, so that's it. So that was, uh... Ken's arcade mode. Skip. Cool. Okay. Hang on, let me check my phone. The fuck? My phone is telling me that I'm I have a voicemail from China, but I don't don't have a missed call to go with it. Oh boy. It's fucking Chinese hackers. Um anyways. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Yeah, okay. So And I guess um, they're going to be adding four characters. They're bringing back Ed and, of course, Akuma. Okay, why am I getting all this stuff? <laughs> it, it's cool, but, like, I don't know what I did. All right. Well, let's, um, so 
so he is playable. Okay. Alright, let's bump it up a little bit and see how well I do. I've been playing Guile since I was a kid, so let's see. He hasn't changed much. Yeah, see, look, he can... He, he can do that now, which is cool. Yeah, he's also got some weird combos, too. Alright, so like... Yeah, obviously he's still got the flash kick, the sonic boom, but now sonic blade is a regular special move instead of, you know, a V-skill. And he can throw it forward, and then... Yeah. And then solid puncher is now a super art instead of, you know, a V-trigger. It's the same thing, though, and then you can throw extra sonic booms. Um... Yeah, so he does... He's got this weird move now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. So he he does like a, sw a half a sweep, but then can kick him up in the air. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, everybody has that. Very dry brush. Okay, got it. Yeah, see. So Luke was just brought in in Street Fighter V, but I guess he's working with Guile. Okay. So maybe you get a longer story if you pick more fights. Oh man, Zangiev, this is death. I never do well against him. Alright. That hits hard, wow. So he only hit me twice, and look how much health I lost. I fucking hate Zonkey F so much. Which is basically you don't get close. It's like, yeah, easier said than done. Okay, so his spinning lariat can cancel out projectiles.
Nice. So that's good. When he's in solid puncher, you can just hit two punch buttons to just quickly throw a sonic boom. That's helpful. Yes, yeah, so your, your EX moves are using the drive gauge now, which means you're not, you know, which means you can still do your super combos when you want. But you have to be careful not to get, you know, run out of drive gauge and then get stunned. That's no fun. Suplex. Okay, hey, that's cool. I want to do that. Hang on. Press the wrong buttons. Oh! Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Fail. Yeah, it's the same direction as, uh, as other Super Comedy. You just gotta hit kick instead. Alright. Alright, so now here's a new character. Yeah, she's weird. She's like a ballet dancer or something. Yeah, so she she's like doing ballet and it's horrible. And then she can manipulate your position and she's got throws. It's horrible. Ah. <laughs> oh. Wow, okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to beat her. She's horrible. <laughs> yeah, but that that's not fair. She's like Zangief with combos. What the fuck? So she hits you a couple times and then ends it with a throw for maximum damage. All right. She's kind of like Laura, I guess. Sort of. Damn it. Uh, I didn't know how long that was. Okay. Yeah, that's the only thing with Guile, like, so he's got two super combos that can be difficult to incorporate into a, a combo. Or, or to do after confirming the hit, you know?
So that's cool. If you do the, the drive impact, you know, and then do a throw afterwards, that can be helpful. All right. Yeah, take that bitch. No! What the fuck? Yeah, I better not try to get too fancy here. Otherwise she's gonna make a comeback. Alright. Yeah, you tell her. <laughs> Hammy. So there's no ray tracing in this game, but it I don't think it needs it. You know? It is the RE engine, but it, it looks a lot like Resident Evil 2 remake to me. Or 7 as opposed to 8, you know? Or the 4 remake. So that's probably was probably in development for a long time. Um or at least a couple of years. What the hell? Stop throwing me! I don't like that. So that's an anti-air attack now, okay. Gotcha. Okay, so I picked hard, so yeah, that's a level 6 computer opponent. Okay. And that's a, like the edge of my skill level, unfortunately. Once I get up to like 7 or 8, it's like, forget it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it seems like a good idea to do a throw, because I don't think they can do a throw escape out of that. Otherwise, she probably would have been doing that the whole time. Alright. Gotcha. Wow, that was cool. Okay. That's cool. So when your health gets low, it becomes a critical... Your level 3 becomes a critical heart at low health. Okay, and it does more damage. That's neat. Now, what I hate about Street Fighter is you can hit a point where you can beat higher level computer opponents, and then you go online and you can't even make it to fucking Silver League. It's horrible. Okay, so you can hold the button down to parry more stuff. Okay. <laughs> okay. I hate when that happens. They have a sliver of health and you just can't land that final hit. <laughs> All right. So if you're in the market for a new graphics card, I 
don't recommend the 4060 Ti, but the 4070 is a good card. Especially if the price comes down on it, which it probably will. Ooh. Oh, I didn't know she could do that. I'm curious to see how the uh, tier lists all pan out. I don't see Chun Li going top tier. Nope. I, I press the button, goddamn button. Come on. There we go. Okay, cool. Oh! <laughs> That's tricky, but alright. I guess it helps you practice. And that's from Street Fighter 3 that came back from. Okay. So, this is actually the newest game in the Street Fighter timeline. It takes place after 3, which is neat. Oh. She keeps interrupting my attacks. It's crazy. her in this one. I liked her in 5, too, but... Yeah, so that's an interesting combo, because it throws them back a little bit. Oh, man, dude. <laughs> yeah. So she's still level six, just like the other ones were. Damn it. Ow. Yeah. So, the game hasn't gone up in difficulty. She's just, I don't know. Let's try that again. Okay, so it automatically continues as that character, which is fine, because it is his story after all. Yeah. Yeah, but Street Fighter games, and actually all fighting games, always read your inputs, so... It's not surprising when you try to parry and they immediately throw you. Yeah. No, Jury is, I think, is good in this one.
Yeah, but she... See, I hate throwing in this game. And, and all the Street Fighter games. I think throwing is just stupid. There should be a mode that just has no throws. And Zangief is just banned completely. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. I think this is a tricky matchup because Guile doesn't have, like, an instant projectile like everybody else does. Oh, God, what is she doing? You know? And, and that's the thing. That has a... This has a long startup on it. And they can just jump over it sometimes. Nice. All right, cool. Oh, I think Kimberly is T Hawk's daughter or granddaughter, or Lily, rather. Sorry. I have not seen any footage of her yet. All right. Oh, she's like, uh, what's her face? She's like the girl from, uh, Samurai Showdown, Cham Cham, sort of. All right. Oh, okay, so then if a Sonic Boom does hit it, it'll still do the effect. Okay. Alright. That was just noticeably easier than the last fight. So I don't think there's dynamic difficulty, though, because it's still saying CPU level 6. That was a failed flash kick. Alright, that time I got it. Ow! Oh boy, that's horrible. Is she related to Sakura somehow? Maybe they're friends or something. I thought she said Shaput, yeah. Oh, what is that? What is that? No, no, don't, whatever that is, don't do that. I don't like that. So she actually reminds me of the graffiti girl from King of Fighters. 
Yeah, the new one. Was it 15? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, come... How'd she interrupt that? Jeez. I don't like Kimberly. She's weird. She jumps around too much. What? And she's got an anti-air throw. What the fuck? I don't like her. Guile does not do well when he's backed into a corner. I mean, no one does, but... Yeah, she's got this weird graffiti teleport thing. What the hell? It's like she's like... But she's also kind of like Guy. She's like Bushido and... Karate. Like, what the hell? Yeah. I don't like her. I do not like her. So it's going to take a while to learn how to like, counter the new characters, of course. Yeah, and then she's another character who does a combo and then ends it with a throw. Like, come on. What you want to do is you want to throw that up. Okay, I got it. That's how you counter her. You throw that up and she runs right into it. Oh, is that poison in the background? Not sure. Oh, in case you're wondering, this runs fine on Steam Deck. Oh, yeah. Well, they kind of look like poison and Hugo, don't they? Oh, no. Yeah, the second I pressed the parry button, she threw me. Yeah. Good. Cool. Go home, little girl. Oh, I have to fight Ken. I thought I was trying to help him clear his name. Oh, I forgot about that. All right, so everybody actually has a different boss. Got it. I think that's good. It was really boring when everybody had to fight Bison in the old games. Because some characters just do not do well against Bison at all. What? Ugh! Gotcha. Jeez. 
Jeez. No, he's reading my inputs. He's a level 7. Okay. Dude, he can do ridiculous combos in this game, huh? And he backs you in the corner, and you can't fucking block anything. That's what this game does to you sometimes. There are times that this game just does not let you block. Like, the second you crouch to block, they hit you high. And you stand back up and they hit you low. It's like they know what you're going to do before you do it. Alright. So this is a uh, hard difficulty. But see, Guile never does well against like Ryu and Ken, in my opinion. Because the Sonic Boom is too slow. Oh, see, look, it dropped him down to level 6 because I lost. Got it. Alright. So there you go. If you get to the final stage and you lose, then they drop the difficulty back down to 6. So maybe the first time I fought Jury, maybe she was level 7. I'd have to go back and rewatch it. Or maybe it just wasn't a good matchup. Or I just don't know how to fight her yet. Yeah, see, look how... But, like, there's such a gap going from, like, 5 to 6 and then going from 6 to 7. Whereas, like, 4 and below, it's like they basically don't block anything. 5 is when they start blocking, and then 6, they're already blocking a decent amount of stuff. And at 7, you can barely touch them. Alright, I got him. I got him when they lowered it, so... There is dynamic difficulty. They do lower it if you keep losing. Alright, cool. Yeah, so you get a bunch of uh, artwork each time you beat it. That's cool. All right. So there's 18 characters to start, and I guess they're doing four over the next year. So in six years, we'll be up to, what, 40 characters? <laughs> You know what would be cool if they brought in somebody from Darkstalkers? I'd like to see that. Or just make a new Darkstalkers game. Jeez. Alright, come on. This is, this is fine, but... Alright. Not gonna play online, no friggin' way. Alright, so... Let's see, we got some new characters here, too. 
So I played as two of the original characters. Yeah, they brought back DJ. I'm going to drop it down to five stages. Get through it quick. I thought she worked for Bison. I don't know he was the one who took out her eye. But she has two eyes now, so is one of them fake? Alright. I don't know her story, so whatever. Yeah, so her moves are pretty much the same. just kicked her in the face. Yeah. So let me just look at her commands again. Yeah, so you do that and that gives you energy to power up these three. Which is normal for her. And then she's got that. Alright, and then she has this four... Okay. And she can do that too. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Hold the button with a foot to change the effect. Well, that's cool. Oh, yeah, that, that does nothing for me. Yeah, that's a cool combo. All right, da, da, da. I could do that. He jumped right into it. Awesome. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm gonna step all over your stupid face. Ha! Huh? So Bison's dead, but she still wants to find him and kill him? I don't get it. I want to see where this goes. I got one of those too, Guile.
Okay, yeah, that's how you do that combo. Okay. Yeah, he just counters everything. Holy shit. Yeah, she's tricky to use. Definitely takes some practice. Yeah, she can actually do all three of those in one combo, but, you know. Okay. Ow. Oh, really? He can do a throw in the middle of her super combo. That's stupid. Can't... Alright, so when I played as Guile against her, I struggled, but apparently it's not a bad matchup. I don't know. Apparently a jury who knows what she's doing is formidable, but otherwise not so much. <laughs> She's creepy, but I like it. Alright. No, I was doing so good, but then what happens is I kind of get in my own head, and I, I want to, like, actually do the, the combos and stuff. That's when I start to fuck up, when I want to, like, show off and actually do combos. I hate the throwing in this game. It's so annoying. Oh, they knocked him down to level 4. Jeez. I wish they would, like, give you the option, like, hey, would you like us to lower the difficulty? They're basically doing what Guilty Gear does now. They punish you for losing, basically. Well, they don't punish you per se, but you know what I mean. It's like, how about you ask me if I want you to lower it or not? Because how am I ever going to get better? He's a veteran, come on. That's fun. Well, you know, it's it was fun the first three times, but, you know, I kind of wish it was skippable. Or I guess you could just put the controller down if you don't feel like doing it.
Oh, I don't like that. Alright. I do not like that range throwing move. Why does it seem like all the new characters have, like, grapple moves? They all play, like, Laura. Actually, that kind of annoyed me in Street Fighter V, how almost every character had a, uh, grapple move. Ow. Yeah, that's how you... The easy way to get out of a, one of those is to do a throw. Yeah, and I don't understand how it lets them do throws in the middle of my super combo. Like, if you stop blocking, it should hit you. I don't understand. Like, they made the throwing even more annoying somehow. I don't know how. Got her. All right. Wasn't sure. I think she's dead, right? Yeah. All right. That did feel good. You're right. <laughs> Chun Li. Why? Oh, because did Chun Li take out Bison? Let's find out. But I don't know why she's angry at Chun Li. Oh. I didn't press that, I swear to God. This is the problem with this game. You need, like, fucking riddle and reflexes to be able to capitalize on something like that. And then the, here comes the throw. Yeah. Couldn't land a single hit on her that time. Jesus. It's like you have to be on drugs to be good at this game. That's creepy. It's like, but how am I ever going to be able to beat a level 7 if they keep lowering it every time I lose. 
like six isn't exactly challenging anymore, you know? Yeah, but see how quickly they switch to a throw when they know they can't hit you? Like, if they know you're blocking or parrying, they immediately throw you. It's ridiculous. Although they throw you anyways, but... Seriously, I want a Street Fighter game that doesn't have any throwing. That's what I want. And it'll never happen. I didn't see that coming. All right. Dang it. Yeah. So Chun Li has always been kind of an air juggler if you know how to use her. Oh, I didn't know my gauge was empty. Oh boy, that's not good. So do I have to wait for that to fully recharge to avoid getting stunned? Seems like it. Okay, so now what? That's it? Alright. So she wanted to kill Bison, but somebody else beat her to it. And she decided to go beat up Chun-Li. Okay. Why not? I think I've seen them all at this point. Yeah, so it's interesting when you look at the type. Ken is now considered a power type. And she's a speed type. She's a speed type. Standard, long range, mid range. Yeah, she's the only one considered close range. Ease of use hard. Yeah, I'll say. All right. Let's try somebody I haven't used yet. And I haven't fought against her yet. Marisa. Okay. 
It goes up to eight, and I'm struggling at seven. Okay. So I'll just do five for now, since I haven't used him before. Let's just check him out. Marisa. Oh, he's terrible. What what do I do? He's just like DJ, right? Sort of. Oh yeah, this commentary is gonna get annoying quick, huh? Alright. What are your moves? Oh. Oh, he's drunk in boxing? What? What is this guy? Okay. Oh, he has to get drunk before he can do half of his moves. Oh, he's terrible. Really? That no, nah, he's awful. I don't like this at all. He's like a break dancer and a drunken boxer. Like why? And when you try to drink, you get punched in the face. Alcohol is bad for you, kids. Yeah, he's awful. I don't like him at all. Nope, he sucks. Alright, no, I'm gonna pick her. And I'm gonna fight against him. And let's see what he does. Yeah, so she can hold that attack. All right, that's good. Stop a super combo with a fucking throw now? I hate throwing. Get it out of this fucking game. How am I supposed to win if they can counter everything with a throw? You gotta be kidding me. So he's only good when he uses the same moves that everybody else has. If, if you just keep spamming the throw, you can beat anybody, I guess. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's all you do in this game. Watch. Just keep throwing them over and over again. That's that's the only strategy that works. But I thought she had a command grab. Alright, so she doesn't have... I just assumed she was a grappler type. Okay. Guess not. All right. 
Oh, she hits hard, she's just a little slow, that's all. I just assumed she had a grapple move, like Zangief. Yeah, so you can counter anything with a throw now, apparently. Yeah. No, it's just they throw you. They, 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 all they fucking do is throw in this game. It's so stupid. Alright. So, I don't like him. She's okay. Um... Let me try her. And who have I not fought against yet? I haven't fought against Blanca or Dalsum yet. Okay. Alright. What? More beef than a ch What the fuck? Who wrote these jokes? I know nothing about her, and yet I was able to swing. Oh, he's only level four, though. Yeah, see, at level four, they they block maybe ten percent of your attacks. Okay, and it changes depending on which attack button you use. Okay, that's cool. All right, she is good. Yeah, she could be fun. Okay. So. I feel like they could have picked a better voice actor for that commentator and given him some better dialogue, too. Alright. So she plays the way you expect her to. Just like all the other games, which is good. Yeah, she's fast, though. She is a speed type after all, so I guess that makes sense. I don't like him. So Dalsum's a grappler now? What?
There you go. So what you want to do is you want to use this drive impact, and then you want to immediately go into a super combo if possible. Yeah. What's with the cat? The throw connects, even though it shouldn't have. Jesus. Alright, what's her level two? Killer bee spin. Okay. Which can also be done in the air. Ah, I miss. Yeah, it's, it's just like in 5, she just totally misses if you don't aim it right. Okay. Alright. So there you have it. Oh, actually, you know what? I want to do one last thing and then I'm done. Let's do Ken versus Ryu, but put him up to level 8. This is gonna suck. And then I'm done. I do like the game, yeah. There's a lot of content. It has an actual, like, full-length story mode to start with, plus the arcade. So. Too bad there's no survival mode, though. Alright. I'm probably gonna get destroyed, but let's just see what happens. Throws me again. I can throw you too, asshole. What? That's not even remotely fair. Okay. And then he gets full meter back at the start of this fight. Okay. But his goes, his gets priority, of course, because he did it a millisecond after mine because you read my inputs. So, yeah. So level eight opponents will just juggle you, and this is what you're gonna see in the esports. You know, you're just gonna see throwing and people spending their whole meter to do an endless juggle combo. It's ridiculous. So a, he does two parry dash cancels to reset the combo and then does a super combo at the end. But see, this is what you can expect if you attempt to play online. Even on the lowest league, you're going to get people just like him who just mastered the game and... Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. 
Alright. Alright, um... Alright, let's try this and then I'm done. Yeah. What did he just do? Yeah. So that's weird. Yep, the, the second I pressed it, he pressed his immediately. That's ridiculous. The second I press it, he presses it too. Uh, this is ridiculous. No human could react to that that quickly. Yeah, so at level 8, the computer just blatantly cheats and reads your inputs. But if you play online, at the absolute lowest tier, you're going to have people who are tougher to beat than him. So, that's Street Fighter. You should not be able to cancel that with a throw. That doesn't make any sense. Seriously. Yeah. Yes! Okay, I finally won one round against the level 8. Okay. Wow, okay. Alright. What is this fucking Tekken? You gotta be fucking kidding me. At the start of the fight, he has enough meter to take away 60% of my health in one ridiculous combo. That's ridiculous. Like, what the fuck? How do you counter that? It's just, man, it's, it's ridiculous. Too much fucking throwing, man. Whoever programmed this, it's like, the computer throws too much.
The computer throws too much, and you shouldn't be able to counter everything with a fucking throw. This is like the worst struggling I've ever seen. If this is worse than Mortal Kombat. <laughs> But then he throws me, because that's all they fucking do in this game. When in doubt, just spam the throw. <laughs> but yeah, you can't parry in the middle. You can throw in the middle of their super combo, but you can't parry in the middle of anything else. This is broken. Yeah, you can't jump towards them. Okay. Yeah, the second you do yours, they do theirs. It's so stupid. When are you actually supposed to do any of those fucking new mechanics? So even when he's got no meter, he just blocks it and that's it, or he jumps over it. Yo, this game's broken on this difficulty level. On four, a toddler could beat it. Five isn't too bad, six can be challenging, and then eight is impossible because they cheat. Yeah, there's like no way to get out of the corner though. Uh, yeah, of course it got interrupted anyways. Okay, but then it. Okay, so why did I get interrupted? I don't get it. Why did that interrupt my attack? That shouldn't have happened. No way to fucking counter any of that. And he got all of his fucking meter back. What the fuck? He got his entire gauge back from doing that. Yeah. That, yeah, level 8 is just absolutely broken. Okay. Level 8 is completely broken.
Seven is challenging, eight is impossible. So going from one to five, there's no gap. There are no, there's not much of a gap between difficulties, but it jumps exponentially each one after that. So. Yeah, that announcer is annoying. I gotta shut that off. So let's see, look, you drop to level 7 and it's like, alright. But level 8, I feel like I'm playing a completely different game. And there's things that just shouldn't be possible. Only, like, only 0.5% of players will be able to do any of those combos you saw. So he just spams his command grab. I thought they would interrupt him. So. Drive impact sometimes gets interrupted and sometimes not. Maybe you have to use an EX move or something. I pressed the fucking button! I fucking pressed this! Throw escapes never fucking work. Jesus. Throw escapes never work. So his went in a millisecond after mine, so he gets it. Why? The only way to get out of the corner is to get demolished by a ridiculous combo, and then it feels sorry for you, I guess. All right. Uh, 
All right, there you go. <laughs> so I managed to win one round at level eight and then one match at level seven. Got it. There you go. All right, so that's Street Fighter Six for you. All right. There you go. That's Street Fighter VI running on the RTX 4070. As you can see, no performance drops at 1440p in maximum settings. So, anybody who watched, thanks for watching. Um, if you tune into twitch.tv slash askwheels tomorrow night, we do Sunday night shenanigans, and we'll probably be playing this. Um, that's it. All right. See ya.